Coming to you live from Walmart parking lot in Dawson Creek, British Columbia, Canada. Do you remember the last time you took a shower? Because I don't remember the last time I took a shower. And I'm okay with it, surprisingly. I just put on a clean shirt. We took one. It makes me feel kind of clean. We took one. that show I never did I, there was a girl I liked when I was in sixth grade and I figured mm. she watched it so oh. I thought it'd be good if sure. I watched it I'm too. pretty sure that's Dawson's Creek Dawson's not Dawson Dawson's you turned it the wrong yeah thing. it's cool <laughs> go check out this Walmart I gotta pee so bad oh, I guess you can make a left here See where that van is? There's a bunch of RVs yeah. in there. Should we ask or should we just park? Let's just park. Who made a wrong turn now, huh? <laughs> Not this guy. Oh man, I got a I got pee coming out of my ear. Park with that van over there. So here we are in Dawson Creek, our first stay at Wally World. This is our setup. It is uh, almost nine o'clock by the way, and the sun feels like it's about six. He's putting groceries away. Pretty well stocked up for our run to yeah. Alaska. We spent four days in our budget, so hopefully that'll get us. Well, four days will get us to Alaska. Whether we need to stop for other stuff along the way, who knows? This is the next milk. Okay. Dinner, leftover pizza. Mm. And then we balance it with those nice healthy peppers back there. I'll try to. Try to. And some fruit plus legumes. Oh, veggies. Was I reading French again? Yeah. Legumes. Legumes. Alright. We'll see how this goes. Coming to you live from Walmart parking lot in Dawson Creek, British Columbia, Canada. Do you remember the last time you took a shower? Because I don't remember the last time I took a shower. I just put on a clean shirt. We took one. It makes me feel kind of clean. We took one and hit me. That was at least two days ago. I'm at least. That. So, that's just how boondocking goes. And I'm okay with it, surprisingly. You can't see Lindsay, she's too small. Too small. See how tiny your bathroom is? That's the bathroom. It's tiny. But it's also the water. It's tiny. I get uber conservative with water. We got 29 gallons of fresh water. It's a tiny, tiny bathroom. So imagine taking a shower at home. You probably don't even think about how many gallons of water you use. No. But we have to think about it's it. It's limitless. Yep. We think about it and we say, 
29 gallons. Well, if that's a gallon a minute, which I think is probably pretty slow, I think I think we probably use more than a gallon a minute. That's 29 minutes. That's two showers, two 15 minute showers. Um, but we don't do that. We have to do military showers where um, we wet ourselves down, we soak ourselves in soap, we wet ourselves down, we wet ourselves down again because we miss some soap. At least that's how I go. If I drop the soap, turn the water on and off, Chris. You're by the way, too detailed. No, if I drop the soap, I can't pick it up. The bathroom is too small. I can't. I can't pick it up. I have to step out of the bathroom and pick up the soap. So, anyway, life on the road is uh, it's awesome. I'm changing right now too. I can multitask. Um, but I love I love life on the road. Even though boondocking puts us in Walmart shopping parking lots. This is the first Walmart we found that's been RV friendly. Yeah, we didn't even talk to them. Like friendly. We, we probably made the mistake of asking for permission. Um, well, it was known. But yeah, a lot we, of people... Us and like 30 other campers were here. A lot of people stay here, which is good. It's, it makes it more comfortable for us to not have to worry about whether somebody's going to jack us up in the middle of the night. Um, although I did notice our front right tire is on a brick. Did you notice that? So... No, it's not. No, we had a we had a good time <laughs> here in Dawson Creek, staying at Walmart, and uh, we're very likely to move on in the next couple of hours. And we're gonna go to mile zero. Yeah, we're gonna go do some planning, um, take advantage of the Walmart Wi-Fi, McDonald's Wi-Fi, sit there, have a cup of coffee, and uh, make sure we know our route from this point forward. Because starting today, we are on the Alaska Highway, so we're making our way. We're as far as seven days out. We're as close as two depending on how crazy we want to be. It's raining, it's gonna keep raining. Uh, it's gonna rain for the next three or four days here in this area. So we were gonna do four hour drives, right? Four, four to five was kind of our maximum for a day. And I like that because there's a lot of stuff I need to do on the business end of getting caught up with writing and, and, uh, and so forth. But um, four hours, five hours, that was most of what we wanted to do. And it's raining, so there's not gonna be a lot to see. And we may just say, let's do an eight hour day and knock out two days in one. Those are long driving days, but um, when we get that kind of ground covered, it's kind of nice. Again, cause there's nothing to really see or do. We could park in a beautiful place and not be able to go outside the camper. Or if we go outside the camper, we're soaking wet and then we drag all the mud in and, mm -hmm. and the dog can't run around and play cause she'll get all muddy. And so um, rainy days kind of suck when they're travel days, but we're gonna make do because we're probably gonna push on travel a little bit more. But we are gonna go into McDonald's and um, I should, we're name dropping companies that will never sponsor us because they're too big, like Walmart and McDonald's for the three people that end up ever watching this. But anyway, we're on our way uh, up the Alaska Highway. Before that, we're gonna go into McDonald's, plan it out, make sure we know exactly where the gas stops are. Uh, it'd be good to know where we can refill water and where we can dump our gray tanks and our black tanks so we can take a shower, hopefully, tonight. We do have full LPG, so we can get hot water, which is yep. great. Our little six gallon hot water heater works fantastic for our showers. Uh, we just, we fill up our gray tank. We need to know where we can dump it. And when we use shower water, we need to be able to fill up our holding tank so we have more water to use for everything else. So anyway, that's the story of the morning. Super excited and uh, about to begin the journey officially to Alaska. <laughs>